Welcome to Gardening with Ranger Rob. Today we're going to build some Arizona above ground planter boxes. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob, and this video is about gardening in Arizona. I'm uh, going to build two new planter boxes uh, for our backyard. Uh, you're going to need an electric screwdriver to uh, do this. I'm going to do it all with wood screws. And uh, the project is fairly simple. Uh, I'm making two 10 by two and a half foot beds. Uh, one's going to go here, uh, and another one's going to go the other direction. And in the center, we're going to put a little flower bed. And uh, so, uh, what I needed to get, and I did all this at Home Depot, is I'm using, I bought five 2 by 12 by 10 feet long uh, boards. And I'll bring you over here real quick to show you. And uh, <coughs> down here, uh, four of the boards I have at 10 foot, do 2 by 12. And I have one of the 2 by 12 by 10s cut into two and a half foot lengths for my spacers. So uh, I also bought wood screws, uh, some three inches and an uh, inch and a quarter and some uh, 90 degree brackets, about eight of those. And that's all I, I'm using. So uh, anyway, this is the beginning of the project. I'll keep updating you on this video uh, how it's coming. So let's get started. Okay guys, we're uh, got our screws out here. We're using a three inch screws for the main boards and an inch and a quarter for the 90 degree brackets I'm putting in that look like this. And uh, I'll let you have a little look at the, the boxes here. Got one box almost done. Uh, two and a half feet by ten feet. And uh, you can see in the corners where I've got the 90 degree brackets. Uh, pretty easy to put together. Eventually I'll drag it over there. I have to dig and level out the ground. And set to go. Uh, of course later on I'll put a watering system in. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited. It looks good, huh? You guys can do this. It was very affordable. I think you could do this, a one box like this, and the extra brackets for under a hundred bucks. And uh, the one thing will cost you money more, probably worse than the wood, is the dirt and fertilizer. But it's worth getting good dirt. So anyway, guys, there you go. I'll show you more as I go along here. Well, the first box is done, and I actually got it into place. So that's what it looks like so far. Uh, definitely hot here, so it's, we're just doing one for the first day. Uh, tomorrow I'll build the second box. And then that one will go... Let's see if I can give you a better look at what I'm doing here. I've got to move this pile of dirt, but the other one's going to go... Uh, right over there and go this direction and then I'm going to leave that corner open so we can put like a, a couple of plants or a couple of flowers or something unique in there that's not vegetables and uh, so it should be kind of cool so it's getting there uh, I like it <laughs> it'll look nicer with flowers and well not with vegetables in it but uh, yeah box one is done well, it's the next day, guys, and the second box is done. Got all my brackets in, ready to go. But this is going to be a little harder because I got some dirt to move first. So uh, this one's going to go in here. And I've got some dirt that was left over so when we put these trees in. And so I've got to move dirt first, then cut the trenches, then move it over and... Uh, Anyway, so next shot I'll show you is uh, probably when I have it uh, installed in the dirt here. So almost there. Well, it's been a few days later and I made a redesign. So I uh, decided to uh, stack them and make my uh, box a little deeper. Came out really good. The only thing different, I had to add some uh, brackets in the inside to hold the two pieces together. Came out really nice. And uh, Let's see. 
So now I just got to put the fill dirt in. Uh, I did get the pile of dirt out of the corner over here. So, uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. That's a pretty good looking box and it was very affordable. So, without the screws, if you didn't have to buy screws like I did, you could probably do this for around $100, $110. So, there you go, another planter box. I can't wait to get it, save my money up so I can put dirt in it. And then uh, see what we're going to get growing. So, anyway, I hope that was a helpful video to you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.